After two years of gathering public input on what to do about often harmful water releases from Lake Okeechobee, the Army Corps selected a plan known as Alternative CC, which reduces releases to the East Coast by as much as two thirds. The Corps saying out of five alternatives, CC, while not perfect, scored the best overall. Some of the other alternatives, you know, scored well in a certain area. Um, but really didn't get the holistic approach that we were looking for. Uh, and CC got us as close as we could. Um, and that's why we're moving forward with CC. The Corps is writing its new Lake Okeechobee operating manual, known as LOSUM, which will guide decisions for at least the next decade. The idea is to balance competing interests across the state. Environmentalist East Coast residents and lawmakers backed Plan CC because it greatly reduces the amount of water containing toxic blue-green algae thundering into vulnerable estuaries and causing massive algae blooms in the past. But there is concern it keeps Lake Okeechobee water levels too high and could harm the balance of the lake. And it sends releases west to the Caloosahatchee River, which West Coast residents say could be devastating to their coast. The Corps plans to get input on refining the plan over the next few months and stresses this is not the final version, but has the potential to be the best for Florida's water overall. Uh, really proud of the team, really proud of uh, the people in South Florida. I think we found a good plan. Uh, I think this preferred alternative um, really demonstrates um, that we could have a better uh, Lake Okeechobee system operating manual uh, than the current one right now. Um, and we look forward to making it even better. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.